the fastest growing international crime network that the world is. The independent action thriller Sound of Freedom deals with human trafficking and it's hit a chord with many who watch it. It was definitely very eye opening. So shocking, in fact, that Southwest ISD Superintendent Janet Ball was inspired to buy 160 movie tickets for her staff. Thank you all so much for coming. She hopes it sparks conversation, vigilance and action. It's a new heightened awareness that we will be acknowledging this. We will be talking about it, um, looking for things to do to be more proactive, um, to not only train our, our staff, but also the parents. Human trafficking is happening right here in Bear County. Assistant District Attorney David Lunen says that includes labor and sex trafficking. The major problem of it here is Bear County children being exploited by Bear County residents. Here in Bear County, the majority of human trafficking cases deal with sex and female teenagers, and the internet and social media is how they're lured into it. They are mostly in cases that we see, uh, they're being seduced by the offer of, of drugs or nice things, backpacks and purses and expensive footwear. The DA's Human Trafficking Task Force handles about 60 to 80 cases each year, and about 80 percent of them are children, Lunin says. Nobody is immune from this happening. And if you suspect someone you know is being trafficked for sex or for labor, there is a 24-7 hotline here locally that you can call to get them some help. That number is 844-843-6348. And Lunan says uh, parents, educators, and guardians really need to know the subtle signs of a, a victim who is being trafficked. And we have more information on what those signs are on KSAT.com. Steve, Stephania. Thank you, Patty. And bringing attention to the subject doesn't sound controversial, but Sound of Freedom has brought some controversy. Critics argue that movie does not provide an accurate depiction of child sex trafficking. And some reports say that the movie is connected to QAnon, a viral conspiracy theory. But the anti-trafficking activist who inspired that movie, as well as its distributor, have denied those claims. Keep up to date with all of San Antonio's top news, weather, and so much more by clicking the like and subscribe buttons below. And once again, thanks for watching KSAT.